Hey, this is John Young. Today we're going to do kind of a response video. We've had people question a little bit about the runtime when you're using the Ryobi 300 watt inverter that uses the 40 volt battery. So I've got two fully charged 4 amp hour batteries here we're going to be using in our test today. Now you can put bigger ones on. We've got the 6 amp hour battery back there. The 7.5 that I have is on one of the lawnmowers because we've got a variety of different tools that we have here from Ryobi. But we're going to be using both of my four amp hour batteries because I wanted to have the same battery. Now we're going to be doing two different lights. This is a 150 watt bulb over here. Now this inverter is a 300 watt inverter so using a consistent stream or consistent draw of 150 watts should not be a problem and it should last a period of time. Well, we're going to find out. The other bulb is a 65 watt bulb. Now for those of you who are are wanting to do coffee makers and things like that, this will not do it. There's just no way. You know, coffee makers taking 800 to 1000 watts, these will not do it. This is going to be for charging cell phones, running computers, or if you're in the entertainment world, running ceremony sound systems. Speakers, if you're not in the music industry, powered speakers that you can pick up at any of the um, any retailers, whatever, they don't really use a lot of power. They'll be pulling at a pretty good volume for background music. They'll be pulling about 30 watts of power most of the time, depending upon the efficiency of the speaker. Seldom are, is a speaker going to be pulling more than 100 watts of power out of the wall. So a 300 watt inverter can handle that. This is simulating, for those of you in the audio, audio industry, this is simulating a sound system running pretty much uh, at a, a good clip. Not quite full dance floor, but it's going to be above cocktail music. This is going to simulate uh, two speakers closer to cocktail uh, sound or ceremony. So you're going to have this situation going where you're going to be able to see how long it will last at a 65 watt draw and 150 watt draw. I don't want to knock that on the floor. So to make this as even as possible, so I'm going to fast forward through the, the video to go when the, the different units shut off and then we'll come back and do a conclusion at the end. That way I can talk about the amount of time. So we're going to start them both and to start them we put the battery in and there's a little light here. Uh, this, excuse me, this is our light switch but this is our power and this is going to kind of light up when we push. So I'm going to start them both. There we go, our lights are on. Now I mentioned that there was a little light, a little button here will give us a little light on the top so if you're doing something at night this would definitely give you some assistance with that. I've used these in a variety of different applications. Uh, running sound has been one. As you can see, we can run lights. I ran a 200 watt heater for about 45 minutes off one of these, which was kind of a neat little thing that if a person needed to have a little bit of heat by your feet, whatever. Uh, it was one of those little office heaters you put by your feet. Not the kind you want to put down there because if it tips over, it doesn't stop. But anyway, yeah, that video is out there. You guys can check that out. But these can be used for different things. One of them which that I used successfully was to continue to have internet here. We had a power outage and it was going to be several hours. This powered the battery backup on our main internet uh, modem and such. So we had, had internet. Anyway, I'm going to get out of the video and we're going to keep track of it because it started here about a minute ago, roughly, somewhere in that ballpark. And we'll uh, see how long it lasts. Alright, we lost our first light here at about 45 minutes in, roughly, yeah, about 45 minutes in. So with 150 watt, that 4 amp hour battery lasted for about 45 minutes. So that would be, for those of you doing audio, that would be a couple of powered speakers pushing pretty, pretty hard. If you've got a laptop that has like the 80 watt, and a, a, an iPhone, or an iPhone, a MacBook Pro, those have got an 80 watt, um, a little 80 watt or a computer can have that 80 to 100 and some watt. That's going to be really what, what that is able to do on a 4 amp hour battery. Now they make almost double the size with a 7.5 amp hour battery, but it gives you an idea, 150 watt load, 
45 minutes. 65 watt load is still going. So we're gonna continue to let this one run and see how long it goes before it shuts off or I get tired of waiting because we're, we're now we're approaching, let's see, we started this this con, this little thing about about 50 minutes ago. So we'll see how much longer it will go. Okay, that pretty much ends it. We have gone uh, with the 65 watt. It went, oh, uh, let's, let's call it, let's call it 70 minutes, roughly 70 minutes there. And this one we're gonna put to about 40 minutes of runtime, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe, you know, 35 and, and 40, or 40, 35 and 70, in that ballpark, uh, just to give you an idea. 65 watt load, 150 watt load on the, the inverters. The batteries are, the batteries are completely. It shows you that there's, but they're too, they're too dead to power, to power the uh, the units, because they have to have a, a certain amount of, a voltage coming out to be able to run the lights. So we'll put the batteries on the charger and um, be ready to go for our next project. But that'll give you an idea. At a 65 watt load with a battery that's fairly new, you're going to get roughly a over an hour. And that, if you're doing music, could be two speakers running at a above cocktail uh, volume. Just about, just a little bit louder than you would be comfortable with sitting in front and listening to. If you needed more horsepower, you can do it with a 150 watt load, which would be basically a sound system really pushing, or a light, or even that heater, and it lasted roughly 45 minutes, which ironically is about what the 200 watt heater lasted on the 7, the big, uh, the big one there, so. Goodness, I just picked up some bugs from outside. This is John Young. Links will be in the description below so you can go check out the Ryobi inverters and the Ryobi batteries from Home Depot. Thank you for watching.